Viancole is mainly found in Uganda. It's also found in Congo, in Rwanda, in Burundi, and the northern parts of Tanzania. It is a hardy animal. It can survive and perform well on relatively poor types of pasture. It can stand tick challenges and other diseases which are endemic in this area. It's been a source of income to farmers in the form of uh, milk and meat. And uh, also socially, marriages and uh, other customs. We've got a large population, um, which is about 3 million, but we cannot trust because there is a, an increasing rate of crossbreeding of these animals. Farmers want animals which are producing much more milk and meat than what the Ankole can produce. There is a pressure on the land for crop husbandry. Now with the increasing population, there is less communal land. Animals can walk for long distances to search for pastures. We have also been experiencing longer droughts made worse by the cutting down of trees. And during this time, farmers have lost a number of their livestock. When you think of what may happen 10 years from now, this breed and other indigenous breeds may be under threat. What the government of Uganda has done is we are getting these animals, we are selecting them, we are multiplying them, we are then working with farmers to produce animals that are adaptable to our environment and climate. In this country, more than 90% of the livestock are owned by the farmers. Through the support of uh, FAO and uh, ILRI, we are trying to look at the policies that we are making which will help us to maintain, select and breed our indigenous livestock. <laughs>